All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 25 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this equation, I'm going to first start by subtracting 20 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 25 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, 25 to the power of x, I can rewrite this as 5 squared to the power of x. So I have this minus 5 to the power of x minus 20 is equal to 0. And now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n, I can rewrite as a to the power of n times m. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m should equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So phi to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal phi to the power of x to the power of 2. Now this minus phi to the power of x minus 20 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to let phi to the power of x is e equal to y, so I get y squared minus y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 20. So I get y equals negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 20, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 80 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 81 over 2. And the square root of 81 is equal to 9. So I get y is equal to 1 plus or minus 9 over 2. Now this gives me two solutions. I get y equals 1 plus 9 over 2, and y equals 1 minus 9 over 2. So 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so I get y equals 5 as one solution. And 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Negative 8 over 2 is negative 4, so y equals negative 4 is another solution. Now from here, remember how we let 5 to the power of x equal to y. So this means I get two solutions. 5 to the power of x is equal to 5, and 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 4. So, let's look at this equation over here. 5 to the power of x equals negative 4. Well, we can't take the power of a positive number and turn it into a negative number, meaning this equation has no solution. And for 5 to the power of x equals 5, to solve this, what most people do is, for other exponential equations, we would have to take the log and do a bunch of other stuff. But as over here, we could just see 5 to the power of 1 is going to equal 5 because anything to the power of 1 is itself. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the system of equations m plus n is equal to 5 and m times n is also equal to 5. So obviously, these two are two equations. And I'm going to label my first equation, equation 1, and my second equation, equation 2, just to make the solving easier. So, my first equation is m plus n equals 5. And what I'm going to do is actually rewrite this so I get the value of just one of these variables. So, I'll, I, can do, I can choose any one. For the sake of this video, I'm going to choose m. So to get the value of m, I have to get rid of n by subtracting n on both sides. 
So then these two cancel out and I get M is equal to five minus N. So now the reason I did this is because I can substitute this value of M back into my original equation. So if I substitute this back in, I get five minus N times N is equal to five. Now I can distribute the N. So five times N is going to be five N and negative N times N is gonna be negative N squared. So I have this is equal to five. And now I can add N squared on both sides and subtract five N on both sides. And I get N squared minus five N plus five is equal to zero. Now from here to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A. So in this case, A is one, B is negative five, and C is positive five. So I get N is equal to negative of negative five plus or minus the square root of negative five squared minus four times A, which is one times C, which is five. And I have this all over two A, so two times one. And now this is equal to positive five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus four times five, which is 20 all over two which is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two. And this can't be simplified anymore. So N is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two, which can be divided into two equations, or sorry, two solutions. N is equal to five plus the square root of five over two and n is equal to five minus the square root of five over two. Now, recall how m plus n is equal to five. This was equation one. So now what I can say is that m of one plus five plus the square root of five over two is equal to five. Because remember, in a system of, in this particular system equation, I can have two solutions. So m of one, there can, there's also an m of two because n has two solutions, meaning there's gonna be two different solutions for the actual system equations. So we can say that this is n of one and this is n of two. So for n of one, respectfully, I get m of one. So now to solve this equation, what I'm gonna do is subtract five plus the square root of five over two on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get m of one is equal to five minus five plus the square root of five over two. And I actually have to distribute the negative sign. So I get M of one is equal to five minus five minus the square root of five over two. And this is the same thing as 10 minus five minus the square root of five over two, because 10 over two is equal to five. So now from here, 10 minus five is just five. So I get five minus the square root of five 
over two. And I can say that this is my value for m of one. And remember how n of one is equal to five plus the square root of five over two. So my solution, my first solution for the system of equations is five minus the square root of five over two comma five plus the square root of five over two. So this is my first solution to the system equations. Now for equation number two, or sorry, solution number two, I'm going to use n of two. So n of two is equal to five minus the square root of five over two. And to solve this, I'm gonna plug this back into my equation, m plus n is equal to five. So I can say m2 plus n of two is equal to five, and n of two is equal to five minus the square root of five over two. So I have m of two plus five minus the square root of five over two is equal to five. Now to solve this, what I'm going to do is subtract five minus the square root of five over two on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get M of two is equal to five minus five minus the square root of five over two. And remember this is in parentheses. So this is equal to five minus five plus the square root of five over two. And again, five is the same thing as 10 over two. So I get 10 over two minus five plus the square root of five over two and subtracting two fractions with the same denominator is equal to both is equal to the numerator subtracting to each other over that denominator. So I get 10 minus five plus the square root of five over two and 10 minus five is five. So I get M of two is equal to five plus the square root of five over two. Meaning M of two comma N of two, this is equal to five plus the square root of five over two comma five minus the square root of five over two. So this is my second equation to the system of equations. And let me just write my first solution, m1 comma m2 is equal to five minus square root of five over two comma five plus the square root of five over two. And notice how these two are just the opposites of each other. m1 comma m2 is five minus square root of five over two comma five plus the square root of five over two and m2 comma n2 is five plus the square root of five over two comma five minus the square root of five over two. So these just switched order and it still works out. So these two are my two solutions.